Hey guys, welcome to your uh, prediction reading for the next seven months for um, Gemini. This is going to be for June all the way up to December. Uh, you could apply this to any replacements because this reading could be about anything. We're just going to see what comes up. So just apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Um, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective collective Gemini people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's specific to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Um, like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Uh, what else? Um, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do post readings on there too, okay? So let's get started here. Let me just uh, do something here really quickly. Um, hold on one second, Gemini. Um, you know, might, maybe I'll do it after. Oh, here we go. Let me just do this really quickly here. I'm just posting something here. Hold on one sec, 10. Okay, all right. All right, so tell me about Gemini for the next seven months. Tell me about Gemini for the next seven months, starting with June. Tell me about Gemini for the next seven months. Tell me about Gemini for the next seven months, starting with June. Gemini for the next seven months. All right, we have the Moon, Cancer, Pisces, Nine of Pentacles, and the Two of Swords. Um, during this time, especially before the month of June and just onward here, um, it's really important for you to trust your intuition at this time because I feel like you're blocking it out. Yeah, I feel like you're blocking it out. Your intuition actually is on overdrive right now. Uh, this could also be an indication that any skeletons in the closet, anything that you have swept under the rug, it's coming to the surface now, and I feel like you're being asked to deal with it. Yeah, uh, look at that. Your intuition's on overdrive right now, but with the two swords here, I feel like you're not trusting it. Could be a situation that you're constantly ruminating about it, or that you're, you know, you're trying to rationalize it and logicalize it instead of going going along with it, you know, and just trusting the process here. Okay, so yeah, so trust your intuition. Try not to overguess it, try not to second guess it, try not to block it because I feel like that's what's happening right here. So uh, the moon and the high priestess Cancer Pisces here. Tell me about Gemini in July. Gemini in July. We have the Empress here, Libra Taurus energy. We have um, the Knight of Swords here, Libra Aquarius Gemini. And then we have the Seven of Cups. Okay. You know, someone here is viewing you as someone here who they see it in very high regard here. Whoever this is, this is an individual that's interested in you. They're chasing you here. I mean, it could be a love situation. You know, some of you guys could be going through, you know, um, a spiritual ascension here, or, uh, you know, uh, or that you're transcending something here too, because we're going from a pre-empress energy to an empress energy here. So, you know, I feel like you're, you're sort of like reclaiming your power here, okay? Or that you're leveling up. Okay, with the Seven of Cups here, whoever this is, this person's seeing you as their dream person here. Okay, someone here is definitely tirelessly chasing you. Uh, it could be a situation that you're tired of this, of, of this person because this person doesn't really match your energy here. T <coughs> Tell me about Gemini here in um, August. Tell me about Gemini in August. We have the Seven of Pentacles here. We have the Nine of Swords here and the Three of Wands. Okay. So, Gemini, for the month of August here, I feel like you're really worried about your future here. Yeah, I feel like you're losing sleep over this. You're stressed. You're anxious here. You feel like, um, uh, you know, you're not making a lot of progress here when it comes to your career and your money here. Some of you guys are wondering if you should move away. You know, some of you guys are wondering if you sh should completely just have a clean slate and start a new life here. But there's definitely some sort of worry here regarding your career and your money here. Look, Eight of Swords here and the Three of Pentacles. You're in your head a lot about your, your work situation here. Here's the thing. We're starting with the Nine of Pentacles here and then we have an Empress here. You are in this really abundant energy. You have achieved a lot and there's an energy of you second guessing this. So it's kind of like I'm wondering why this is happening. 
okay? I'm wondering why this is happening. You know, some Geminis tend to be in their head a lot, um, you know, so it's almost like looking for a problem that's not there, you know what I mean? But, you know, I, I just feel like, you know, Gemini, just by looking at this so far, I feel like when it comes to your money and your career, yeah, you're, you're doing really well here, okay? Or if you're not doing really well, you're about to do really well here, okay? Tell me about Gemini in September. Gemini in September here. Gemini in September. We have the Ten of Wands in the reverse here, the King of Cups and the Four of Wands here. Okay, so whatever fears, whatever anxiety whatever that you're going through here in august i feel like all that it's going to be released here with the ten of wands in the reverse and as you release this there could be new love that's coming in for you however this is you might be meeting someone new here cancer pisces energy uh cancer scorpio pisces energy with the king of cups here and the four of wands perhaps the twin flame is coming in okay Perhaps the twin flame is coming in and whoever this is, this is an individual that's really generous with their time and energy here with you. So I feel like this person will show you that they're very caring, they're very nurturing, and they're very dependable here. So that's September. Tell me about uh, Gemini in October. Gemini in October, we have a world card here. We have the four of cups here and the page of pentacles. This goes back to your career and your money again. I feel like you're looking for more. Yeah, it's almost like for October, you know, I feel like you're wondering if there's anything more out there for you because I feel like there's a sense of yearning for adventure, trying new things here, going out to see the world, okay? This is so interesting. Some of you guys might struggle with mental health here. Um, I see you guys actually going through like, uh, you know, go, going through a period of just withdrawing and really distancing yourself from other people here and doing a lot of deep inner work. I don't know, maybe some, uh, in October, some of you guys could be going to some sort of spiritual retreat or something like that, okay? Uh, Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Tell me about um, Gemini in November. Gemini in November, we have the Five of Swords here, we have the Four of Swords here, um, and the Emperor here, okay. Um, you know, the second guessing thing, the, the mind thing in here is coming in very strongly. You know, I don't want to make a blanket statement that all Geminis are all in their head and always like, you know, um, I, I say some because every single Gemini is different. But what comes up very strongly is I feel like just the whole rest of the year, I feel like you're in your head a lot. Just second guessing yourself here, playing mind games with yourself here. With the four swords here, I feel like a lot of you guys can't shut off your mind. Okay. You know, one of the things that's, one of the things that, you know, that really has worked for me in calming the mind is actually meditating. Yeah. Um, you know, a lot of people think that meditation is about, you know, completely shutting off the mind, which is not true. Meditation is about, is about, is about processing uh, things uh, in your mind that needs processing or that has been unprocessed. And, you know, if you, your mind is consistently firing while you're meditating, just allow it to happen. Yeah, just do it because, you know, as you become more consistent in your practice, um, you know, and, and you consistently are committed to doing it, uh, over time, it would lessen. Yeah, it's all about mastering and, you know, trying to, uh, I want to say control, but kind of like find that balance in your head. And you know what that means? You know what I mean? But I, I just, I'm just getting the sense that it's almost like things are going great, but it's like creating problems that are not there. You know what I mean? So let's see what else we have here. Gemini for December. We have the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. We have the Queen of Cups here and we have the Two, two of Pentacles here. We have the King to Queen of Cups. That's a true pair. It goes back to second guessing here. It's almost like uh, you're wondering, let's say if you're meeting someone new when it comes to love here, there's a sense of wondering if you should be putting effort into this connection here or that you're wondering if this person's even interested in you, which I feel like this person is. Yeah, well, yeah, it's all, I, I feel like it's all about mastering your abilities to control what's going on in your mind. And I feel like this is the work that you're going to be doing for the rest of the year here. Yeah, for the rest of the year here. So Gemini, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.